Welcome back to another episode of A-Level Diaries. Today I'm going to be going over how A-Levels have been since I'm now halfway through the year and kind of compare it to how I was at the very start of the year. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so at the start of year 12, um, A-Levels were pretty chill because it was mainly GCSE and just a lot of things were very hectic at the start, but then it like died down really quickly. I cannot say the same for right now. Um, <laughs> I did not expect things to ramp up so fast. Um, I think a lot of people say that the transition between year 11 to year 12 is a big jump, but to be honest, it wasn't that big. The big jump was from December to January or like the next term that like the amount of work the amount of exams just the sheer exams that we've had to do has been insane I can't explain how difficult it's been but at the same time it it's like weird I can't explain it like for anyone who doesn't do A levels the best way I can really put it to words is you just constantly get examined on everything that you're doing and you constantly have work to do on top of that so these exams just like pile up on top of the work that you've got to do and whereas in GCSE where all you had to do was once you've done a lesson that's it you've done the lesson you only really need to go over it again when you've got an exam on it but for A levels it's really different you need to constantly be going over it because otherwise by the time an exam comes along you have so so much to catch up on it's insane let me just like break it down in terms of specific subjects so um, in terms of math Maths has probably been the most chill out of all of them, but even the exams have been kind of like, uh, I, I like I haven't I've done well in the exams. That's the thing, but it's just preparing for these exams and making sure I do well is very difficult. Your maths has been fine. It's been pretty straightforward mostly. Uh, there would be times when I'd be like, oh, okay, that doesn't make much sense. I'd just go home and just do a few questions and I'd be fine. Mechanics was a bit weird. I didn't really like it. So the way A level math works is on top of like normal pure math, you've got mechanics and statistics. They are not nice. I do not like them at all. I hate statistics. It's so bad. Like pure math is actually pretty fun. I can't believe I'm saying that, but like generally I enjoy normal maths um, or at least it's doable. I can do it. It's fine. Whereas statistics, no, I don't like graphs. It's so annoying. Why do they have to make an entire paper or half a paper about graphs and data collection i just don't i don't want it at excel no thank you i'm good okay i got a bit riled up about maths there but um in terms of biology it's been a lot as well um the thing is though one thing i can say about a levels compared to gcse's is it's so much more interesting there's never really a lesson that i go to and i'm like oh i can't be asked for this lesson but just i can't be asked for the work to do outside of the lessons that's the difficult part the lessons are fine usually they're very content heavy especially for biology the best way i can really describe it is you do about like three lessons worth of a GCSE biology lessons in an A-level biology lesson so you get a lot done you think you're done but then they just continue going and going and going and it just doesn't stop and you've just got all this information just coming in so it can be very difficult don't get me started on the exams and the mark schemes I mean I did hear that the mark schemes are bad for biology but they are bad <laughs> they are really bad like you think you got the mark but you didn't it's like tough luck it's just stupid the way the exam board works uh, especially like with some of the wordy questions or even like the two markers sometimes you don't mention the exact word they want and they're like tough luck zero marks for you this weird like bipolarness of biology and this generally about a levels is that i hate it but I love it at the same time. Like the stuff we're doing in biology is so, so interesting. I'm like going to every lesson and just constantly enjoying what the teacher's saying. It's actually so interesting. Like I love it. Um, but at the same time, it's annoying all this work that we've been given and all the stuff that we're meant to do it can be very very difficult but i think it's easily able to get through as long as you have a robust plan and if you stick to that you're fine but it's just making sure you're always organized and making sure that you're always on top of it because as soon as you start slipping away everything starts falling backwards and you have to be like really on it for everything to work out smoothly. Chances are it's not gonna work out smoothly. It's very difficult for it to be one smooth ride. Uh, no matter what, you're going to start facing a lot of bumpiness. Yeah, it's just not nice. In terms of chemistry, I mean, did you see my last video on chemistry? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> chemistry is just, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like every practical, I'm just lost. I don't know what's going on. Um, every 
bit of work that we have to do. I have no clue what's going on. Um, every worksheet that we get given, I have no clue what's going on. It's really, really difficult to understand what's going on most of the time with chemistry. But I still enjoy it. It's so weird. I don't understand what's going on with A-levels. Uh, it's just so, like, all over the place. But it's still fun. I still enjoy it. It's weird. Like, even though I have all this work to do, I still feel like I don't have much work to do. It's, like... <sighs> I can't explain it like I don't I don't know what I'm on about right now um if you can tell I am filming another video after just filming one because I'm trying to get the videos filmed as quickly as possible so I can continue doing work I've actually got so much work that I need to do right now uh but I'm filming a video instead so yes thank you thank you I am sacrificing my own time to make a video for you guys so you better you better subscribe you better like this video generally with A levels I would say that they've gotten so much more difficult than at the start um, and apart from that that's it like they've gotten more interesting but they've gotten more difficult but yeah apart from that A levels are fine don't stress about them especially if you're in year 11 or year 10 or year 9 do not worry about your A levels the only thing you need to worry about is picking them and picking something that you want to do later on but even if you don't pick the options that suit you you can always change them it's never a big deal so um, yeah, that's all I have to really say about A-levels and how they're going for me right now. You can tell I am not in the best of positions. I am quite stressed. I've got a lot of work to be catching up on. And generally, it's a very, very chaotic life. Let's just hope I do well for my end of years. And yeah, that's all I can really say. So I'll see you again next time. I hope you somewhat found this video useful or entertaining or just anything i don't really know what this video was meant to be for but yeah if you guys have any things you want to say leave them down below or like in my email as well uh but apart from that i don't really need to say much else i think i've blurted everything off my mind um the only blurting i need to do now is some biology that was such a bad joke i should stop uh this like you can tell my head my head is elsewhere right now i'm thinking of biology right now i have <laughs> i have things to do so i'm just gonna go straight to that and i hope you guys enjoyed this so i'll see you again next week i'm gonna do some biology i will be back next week i hope if i'm not then i'm probably doing some more exam practice so yeah i'll see you guys bye